Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Akeem Callender. Right. Via Guyana, first time in Ghana. Please put your hands together for Akeem. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, family. Um, Akeem is the name I had stolen from my, my Nigerian friend. Righteous. Okay, that Akeem I stole from Hakeem Elijah one. Uh -huh. Hakeem the dream. The problem is he waited until he became popular to announce that they were spelling his name incorrectly. So people like me are stuck with the Arabic Hakeem instead of the Nigerian Hakeem. I uh, changed, I came to, I migrated to the United States in 1975. And when I became a citizen, I dropped my middle name that I hated, which was Hainsley. Hainsley? Yes, A-I-N-S-L-E-Y, hated it. Hainsley. And that's when I changed to uh, Akeem. That's how unlucky I am, I didn't even get that right. <laughs> so, but throughout my life, the two countries I always wanted to visit before I died was Asia, uh, of course, Egypt because of its yeah. Asian history. Yeah, yeah. And Ghana because, as you know, even though we came from the Caribbean, people assume that we get our a lot of education about Africa. We don't. Yeah. But I did my own research, and uh, my mother brought me up as a Catholic. I used to read the Bible a whole lot, and one day when I looked at the map, at the, at the ray of the uh, Bible, the ancient map, uh -huh. I saw that Egypt was there, in Africa. Uh -huh. So I asked my mama, mama, is this the same Egypt we are reading about in the Bible? Uh -huh. And even she couldn't answer me. So from then on, I did all my research, every book that I could find about Egypt, mm -hmm. I kept reading about it. And then when I saw, when I came across an interview with uh, Dr. Ben on the mm -hmm. radio station, that really confirmed all my suspicion about the color that they have, that they usually paint in the Bible about all these biblical people. You don't see no black folks, even though it's in Africa. Mm -hmm. And then, as I keep reading my history books, found out about the three main empires here on West Africa, yes. which started with Ghana, Mali, and Songhai, okay. that they don't tell us anything mm. about. So I always wanted, I told myself, this is going to be the second country that I have to come to before I die. Yeah. And then uh, see that most of our ancestors that they shipped so the quote-unquote new world mm -hmm. that they found out about Perfect. came from this region, Ghana and around Nigeria area. So I always felt that I should come back here and probably, since I, I just retired last year because, right. it's not last year, last week actually. Hey. Last week! Hey. <laughs> hey. Last week. Yeah. Yes, I had the, that's Jump right, down. I had so two, glad. I had the, I had my own business for 20 years as a driving school. And then I closed that and I became a driving uh, bus operator for uh, New York City Transit for the last 10 years. I tried to come to Ghana last year actually. And when I got to the airport, they told me I needed a visa. So what happened is I went home and I decided to do some research and I saw Bobani on the uh, Bobani on the uh, on Facebook. Oh, good. Called him right away. He said, "Oh yeah, we're going in May." But I couldn't get a vacation for that time. So I said that another year is not going to go by without me going to Egypt hey. and Ghana. Wow. So I said, "Here, you guys could keep your job. I'm gone." Yo! Yo! I put in my retirement, and I decided that uh, I'm going to come yeah. with this group. I like what I saw. Oh, I also had the privilege of meeting Dr. Ben and Dr. Clark uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, because when, when uh, the Reverend Sharpton started his organization in New York, they 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 did the lectures with him every week. 
so I was a member of um, of Dr. of um, Reverend R. Sharpton since the beginning. And I would advise all of you, as the our honorable couple said, mm -hmm. to join an organization. We have a lot of business people here. One of the best organizations besides the NWCP to join is the Urban League. Those are all business people. Most of the top business people in America are with the Urban League. They're all about business. Most of the high level Congress people are in that organization too. You guys should be a part of it. They, they assist you with getting federal loans for your business. And it's all the rich guys and celebrities mostly are in the Urban League. So you guys should really, when you go back, do your research on that too. That's all I have. Wonderful. Right. Yeah.